In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and set up your course menu. So I'm going to go into a um, blank course, it's a brand new course. And on the left hand side, you have your course menu and then you have your home page for the course. Now, whatever you set up as your home page with your modules, that's what your students are going to see when they enter the course. So if there's certain things that you don't want them to see, you can go in and turn certain modules off and add modules that you would like them to see. So um, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the course menu. And one of the things that I've noticed when I first come in here, I do not see all the options that are a default for a course menu in Blackboard. So one of the things I'm going to have to go in is turn on my edit mode. So right now it's letting me know that it's off. So I'm going to click on the off button. It's going to go on. Now if you ever see that something is missing over on the left hand side, it could be because that edit menu is off or the edit option. So now what I want to go in and do is I want to see what's available to myself, what's available to students, and I want to customize this menu. Now obviously the home page is what you see on the screen right now. Course announcements, if I click on course announcements, it will, I'll see that there's no announcements at this point, but this is letting me know that the course announcements are hidden from the students right now. So if I want the students to see this, I'm going to hit the drop arrow and tell it to show the link. And this way the students will see course announcements when they look at it. Now, um, the message center. What you need to do is you need to decide how are you going to communicate with your students. And there are several different ways. If you do an announcement, it stays within the course and you can actually um, email the announcements out to students. Okay, That goes outside the course and goes to their T-Wills account. If you choose to do the messages, the course messages, and use the message center, you can go in and that keeps the messages within the course. It does not have the option to send it to email outside of the course. So they have to come into Blackboard to be able to read the course messages. Another way that you can communicate with your students is through email. Okay, If you're going to choose to do the email, the email is going to reside outside of the course. They can actually email you from the course, but it goes out to their T-Wills account and it goes to your Outlook account. Now, when a student responds, they have to respond from their T-Wills account, so it means they have to check that account. So if they respond to that, it's actually going to go to your Outlook account. So that actually resides outside even though they can email you from the course. All right, so it's a good idea to choose whether you want to use the message center or if you want to use course mail. So let's say I decide I don't want to use the message center. I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually delete this um, link. So I'm going to delete it and it's going to tell me I'm going to delete any content. Now because this had no content attached to it, um, I would, I'm allowed to, I can delete it without a problem. Now if I want to double check, I'm going to go into message center Okay, and I can see that the message center actually holds um, the mailboxes for the course messages. So I might just leave that on if I want to. Okay, now what I really want to do is I want to send out email or allow students to send email. So I'm going to add a new menu item in here. So I'm going to go to the plus sign, and what I actually want to add is a tool link. And a tool link is something that's used within Blackboard. So I'm going to go into the tool link. And I'm going to do send email for the heading. And the type of tool is an email tool. And I want to make it available to my students and then submit it. Okay, so now I have a link for sending email and I don't really want it down there. I want to move it up a little bit. And you can move these things around by just grabbing the arrow in front of them and reorganize. If you find that you reorganize and it's not staying where you are, you might need to go in and empty your cache. Okay. Now, so as I go down through this, um, if I decide that uh, learning modules, this is something that we set up as a default. If you're having content come into um, Blackboard from Angel, your content might come in off um, an, a menu item as just plain content. And you might have a, a content link and a learning modules content link. What I would recommend is eliminate the one that you are not going to use or does not have your content in it. So if I clicked on this one, I can see that there's nothing in here. So I could eliminate this by deleting it. And what I would recommend if you are bringing content in from Angel and the, the actual folder is called content, 
I would rename it so it says learning modules content so that way it will look like what they are used to in Angel just to make it a little bit easier for them to go in and rename you just click on the down arrow and hit rename link and that way it will let you go in and rename the actual item okay if you're going to be using discussions within your course you want to make sure that this is available if you are using a face-to-face -face class and or teaching a face-to-face -face and you are not going to use discussions you can go in and delete that link okay and eliminate it all together if you need to add it back in maybe you deleted something by accident you can go right back into the plus sign and that would also be a tool link because it's a tool within blackboard so you could go in and add that back in again okay if for an example I've gone in and deleted uh, a content area now maybe I want to go in and I want to have a content area to put in the course syllabus but I want it separate from all the other content in the course I could go in and do um, add content area and I'm gonna call this syllabus and make it available to users and submit it okay again I'm gonna rearrange the order then I can go into the syllabus and I could add content in there okay and I'll show you how to do that in another video alright so by going in you can customize your menu you can add and subtract things from this um, one of the things that you might want to do is the tools is a full list of tools that are available in blackboard you might not want your students to see all these so you could either keep this hidden or, um, or, or show it if you want your students to be able to go in and access um, journals and the calendar and the blogs and everything right through um, the tools option the help option at the bottom of the menu here this is um, to get blackboard help so I would actually recommend going in and renaming this and call it blackboard help okay and then um, another thing that I would add is I'm just going to add a um, just an item to this so I'm going to go in to add and I'm going to add a um, a blank page and I'm going to call it uh, SLN help and I'm going to make it available to my students and actually what I'm going to do is put in the 1-800 phone number okay so now students can actually go in and see the help desk you can um, go in and put information on a page that they would click on and actually see maybe you give them a little bit more information about the SLN help desk maybe give them links to go out to the SLN help desk things like that so you can customize this menu any way you want okay some of the recommendations is um, having the home page in there so students will see the modules this will be your entry point into the course if you eliminate the home page if you delete it by accident it will move to the next item in your menu and have that as your access point to the course okay if um, you're going to communicate with your students using either the course messages or the email I would go into the um, add my menu item do a tool link and choose whether you want course messages or whether you want the email option if you are using an outside website for publisher content you can go in and add a web link okay if you have within um, your course you have a location where you have the schedule you can go in and do a course link and have it linked to that spot within the content within the course okay so it all depends on what you're trying to do module pages you probably will not use very often because a module page is what you're seeing here um, unless you create your own custom modules you probably are not going to um, use that option okay you can also change the view of this and um, or bring up a different view and you can actually see this on your screen okay this is more of an outline view okay if you want to see if this is um, laying out the way that you want to you can hit refresh and see the order of the items okay you can also go in and rearrange your items through this area right here and actually select them 
and move, an, move them up and down in the list this way and then submit it. So it's another way of clicking and, and instead of clicking and dragging to reorder them. Okay, so this is how you go in and add items to your menu, reorganize your menu, um, customize um, the looks of it. Okay, now if you want to see what this is going to look like to students, you can come back up to the edit mode and turn it off and you can see what students will see when they go into the course. Now students do not see this um, course management section in here. They will only see this area of the menu at the top. Okay, so you can kind of toggle back and forth. That gives you a little bit of an idea of what students see.